Now you've watched part one, how to prep the plates, bevel them, grind the mill scale off, and tack them. The second part was how to finish that weld off on the top side. So what we've done is ground that weld off, right? Barely touching the base metal, but we've ground that weld down. Now what we're going to do is remove this backing strip. Now remember, if you've never used a cutting torch, there's going to be a video on that too. But this one is a special cutting torch because the end of it is curved. It's a scarfing tip. So if I put this on here, I can make this tip go up and down and that's what this is designed for. So I'm going to cut this bar off and I'm going to go all the way across here and remove that backing strip. I'm just going to cut it all the way across. Now you want to be careful when you're cutting this thing. Depending on your skill level with the torch, you don't want to touch the base metal. If you dag into the base metal with your cutting torch too deep, your instructor will probably fail these pieces and you need to do it over. So you want to remove, just like this, you want to remove most of this backing strip, but don't cut it down too far. Don't try to get too close. We have another step that we can take care of that. So, it's basically the same torch as the line burner. Again, there's going to be another video on how to run these torches. But I'm going to fire this thing up with my fuel gas. I'm going to bring in my oxygen. Nice neutral flame. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rock this thing down in. I'm going to let the metal get hot and I'm going to work it down in. If I see that it's cutting too deep, then I twist it up real quick. But basically I'm just going to work this thing down in. So here we go. I let the metal get red hot. I hit my oxygen. I've cut the end of it off. Now I'm going to start on the bar and I'm just going to move my way across that thing and let that oxygen remove that backing strip. You don't want to get it angled too far into the base plate. I'm always feathering down in and pulling back up. Feather in and pull back up. So here we go. And what we end up with is that backing strip removed. Now I could have spent a little more time and got a little bit closer with that, but I wanted to make sure that I did not dag that base metal. So I left a little bit on there. Now I'm going to come over to the lime burner and we're going to cut this thing up in pieces. So I'm going to set it up on the lime burner. Make sure my clamp's out of the way. I'm going to come over to this other side and make sure that we're geared up and we're angle is good. So I'm going to come over here. I'm looking at my nozzle. It's right about zero. And I'm going to bring this thing out. Now being as the weld is the highest part, we got to make sure that we don't set it too low in the weld the torch hits the weld. We need to bring this a little bit above the weld so that's the highest part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the end off this and make sure it goes over. I'm going to cut the end off it. I'm going to measure over an inch and a half. 
cut a strip, cut another strip, and cut another strip. So we're just going to mark these out real quick. And you're going to go all the way across with those. Now, you don't necessarily need to mark these out to show you each cut. I'm only going to show you a couple of them, but I'm going to come in with my square. And being as the line burner is straight and it cuts straight, I really only need a guide. I don't need to know exactly where these things are because this line burner cuts straight. I really just need the starting point. If I cut that much, the rest of it's going to be straight, right? So, we'll just come in here, make a little bit of a reference line. Now, we're going to go back to the torch and fire up the line burner. Remember, Gas on. Nice flame. Just making sure it clears again. Looks pretty good. Turn my engine on, I bring it up to the edge, I let it get hot, one thumb on the clutch, one on the oxygen, and away we go. Now if your cut messes up and you're moving a little bit too fast or a little bit too slow, you can stop the machine and you can start over. Sometimes it messes up right when you're going through the weld. For today's purposes, I'm not going to cut up all three strips. I'm just going to cut one and show you how to prep it. So there's our first cut. Neutral. We come back in. Measure over an inch and a half, make sure it clears. Oxygen on, engage the motor. It's cutting really nice today, but it cuts really nice every day. Just got to get it adjusted right. And being as we're standing right here, we'll just cut one more. Oxygen off. Neutral. Come back. And we'll cut one more strip. The line burner is a great tool and it does cut straight lines. Much cheaper than a saw. Okay. Oxygen off. Gas off. Gas off. Neutral shut it down. Now we've got our two pieces that we're going to use. The next step in prepping these coupons is to take you back and show you how to use the big belt sander. So stay tuned.